So I got inspired by a, um, Dave the Uber Slave. He's also the man life. Uh, YouTuber. YouTube. And he's one of the first ones I ever saw. He kind of inspired me. Um, he's from Los Angeles. He seems to know it very well. I believe he's grown up there. He always knows exactly the spots and he's right. And this one I saw, I think there was the Troubadour. So that, you know, I started remembering the old, the old days and I'm like, yeah, he did another one, I believe, on Sunset with that other place, right, where the Doors used to play here. That was a, a place on Sunset. But he, he's very cool. Um, like the Observer, he, he's not putting on any acts. He's just being himself, and that's excellent. But it's so missing on YouTube a lot of the times, right? Because there's a lot of training videos and what to do, and people are just doing that, and that's not working the algorithm like we're asking it to do. But he did something here where he just... He's having trouble. I think it was corporate. I didn't see the movie, but it sounded like something I'm going through, the same kind of thing. It could be a waxing or it could be just they didn't let me do the First Amendment walking through the door. I still had to walk through their shell or their, you know, the point market, whatever, like the fighting that's happening here. I had to walk through it. I had to walk through their grind. This is not you, Dave. Oh my God, I'm doing this for you. He's talking about something where he's he's actually getting haters where he's saying, whoa, he's telling, he's giving him a chance. He's saying, you don't care. I don't even know why I'm doing this. And I thought, that's great. And then he did this little speech and like Charlie Chaplin from The Dictator, it's just so, it was so beautiful and poignant. And I was like, I went from my anger where I'd been doing all these calls and going through switchboards and telling people, can you, how dare you, blah, blah, blah. And realizing that, Shell's just sending me back to the other place, and the other place is owned. I mean, they own all the gas companies around. I mean, my, like a conspiracy now, my car does not work in any of these particular gas stations. It's just, what can you do? But when they add on to it, they add on a little minion with a hat, and this is their ambassador so that we can get to them to protect them. And the ambassador's telling you that, you know, you're a loco Asperger's. Well, first of all, Dave, I gotta to let you know, for a long time, they gotta know, it's been changed from the, for the musicians who have it. It's called auditorial spectrum disorder. Is that beautiful or what, Dave? But I accepted it, and many of my friends did too. The musicians especially, because it's auditorial, and that's where I had a problem with policemen, teachers, authority, that they couldn't understand me and they were pouring water on me and trying to get me to stop whatever I was doing, but mm, fit into this box and before we oh, start charging you money that you don't have, so you're gonna have to do some something for us, something in the community, right? Some sort of service, yes. Um, but no, you you need to do the service. And so it's not even Shell. This was my, I'm starting with this 411 because I spoke to this girl. Well, she said she was in transition, Misha. And she was black and she right away understood what I had gone through and how it was this, you know, I was the white nigger. She said, yeah, that's what happened there. I've seen it. You know what I mean? And I'm like, I'm joining your team, you know? But I can't do the blackface. And she's like, I know this. I saw one of your videos, you took the who, and you had them in blackface. How did you do that? And I just said, I blamed it on the negative. I just turned it, I told them, it's Scorsese's phone. I was filming the TV. They were right away, what? You can't do that, that's copyright infringement. And I was like, Scorsese doesn't care. Would you like to talk to one of his method actors, the one with the number two? pencil who's mad about the uh, asbestos that you had him grow up in school surrounded by this taking these tests with these lead pencils right it's all looking bad for you why are you still talking i asked you to start talking i gave you a chance officer what are you talking about i many several times i said talk 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 
you were just, oh, you didn't know how to talk. Did you not remember? It happened just, should I show you on the tape? I've got so many tapes. Which one do you, you want to be like, oh, 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 for 10 minutes? And then go, well, you were doing all the talking. I don't know. That's why we don't have um, body cams, right? Right, don't you love when they're doing the thing like, oh, I think my mom is here. Check, one, four, mama. I'm coming home, you know. Put some borscht on there, right? The good cup, right? The good Ukrainian cup. I used to be one. See, I can tell you whatever I want now. I'm in the free press. And like Dustin, I... Oh, I'm sorry. I just gave Dave... Like, I'm taking away from your thing. But Dustin, he's also a driver. But he's Lyft, I think. Yeah, don't worry about it. Lyft is... Your Uber, Dave the Uber slave. And Dustin's the Lyft god. And then there's the rideshare professor keep calling him and saying, what am I going to do with this limousine that you had me buy? And he was like, hey, have some fun, man. What are you doing? You want to go see Slash? And I'm like, I can't do that anymore. And Slash has told you, we cannot do these weekends, these lift, gift. They call us gifted drivers, right? JY, he was talking about, because they're going out, I'm going to show you. Even though we all say, well, we don't use these things. And the lady was like, well, there's something in the back. Like, that makes you seem real. Well, this was very hard to get. You have to do like a thousand rides, I forgot, or 500. And then later they, give, they send you a vest. And then after I got mad at them, they just set, keep sending me these. Do you know what I mean? It's like Deer Hunter, where they're like, well, wait, how are you getting all these things that you're selling? And and the stickers and then wait a minute is that a lax yeah i gotta find it again because or did i sell it already was that a lax placard right you can do whatever you want now because you treated us like criminals and now you're all like and we were only a couple years ago we were doing this going through your switchboards recording everything saying hey you know we are recording everything right you know, these um, pandemic thing stories that you're saying one thing to the um, immigrants, making it sound like, oh, okay, and then have them sign one terms of endearment that'll ruin it for them. And then, you know, us, the Americans over there, without the accents, you're like, the same news, but A, you know, how would you like some special news? Right? That's... That's what do you call it, Dave? You wouldn't you say that's like discrimination? See, Dave would be like, wait a minute. We're coming into your place. I could wax my car and that other person's car and do it without your spray. And it's going to be really nice and they're going to be happy. I might not even charge them money. Right? Give me one of your kids. I, uh, you know, it's bartering. We don't care. But to be like, oh, you have a mental illness, like I was told, just because I was like, you know, you, you got to clean up the floor right there because the tourists that just left, those German tourists, yeah, they, they probably walked through that. And I just noticed from my movie, dust and whatever it is, is coming on to me. Well, it wasn't me. It was the DoorDash driver that was in my movie. We have all the release forms of your own people at Shell, the good ones. So we have those. I can't have the bad one yelling, you cannot film me here when I know where the public easements. I don't know how you wanted me to pronounce me. Like, we didn't get it. Esmonds? Uh, no. Vader. If I say Vader, don't be that bully going, what's he talking about? Father, we don't have that here. You want some vodka? It's expensive, but we'll let you stay for that. Well, I'm an alcoholic. Thanks a lot. You know, why don't you do like the cops trying to drag me out of my house naked? And I have to tell them, you know, there's kids in this condo. It's a, a county condo. You guys own it. I mean, I bought my four walls, but you own the outside. 
Really? You're going to drag me out there naked, turn me into a sex offender? Because that's all it would have been on paper, no matter what the neighbors go. Oh, my God, what were they doing? Right? Like the... You can't dance in the street. You can't wear a mask in the street. Right? That's what those movies on my channel show you. You can't just photograph in the public library. As a kid, I did that all the time. Those rules that th those police, they learned, or they're gonna learn. Dudley did not override that one for, for you guys. It's overridden for Hollywood. That was so Hollywood doesn't come in, see the homeless there, go, you guys sign these things, right? That's gonna be problematic. And then they get this footage. They, anywhere in town, if you are Hollywood, you must do this thing or you, you will be fined. And so it's just to make money from them so that they pay into that library, not the cops. Ah, that's not why that was overridden. It was to help the homeless. And it, you should have just given Johnny Five O a free library card, right? Not push him out. Like, already have the handcuffs because you, you're saying, well, I'm sorry, there's a sorry end. That was, that's the end. It's going to happen. That's what you said, Mr. Officer teaching at City College, Mr. Cook, right? You're a cook. Baking bread. Breaking bread. The bread of addiction. I thought that one up now. So we got the bread of affliction, and now you, the bread of addiction. 